As you know, you can have multiple sites in your intranet. You probably already have a company-wide site as well as multiple department sites. But did you know you can also create a site for managing a project? I'd like to share what this can look like and hopefully inspire you to give this a try. Let's take a look at my project site. Here's my Project Alpha site. Now this site is meant for team members of Project Alpha and is not visible to other staff. It has its own set of applications. Here's an events calendar, a documents library, a custom app to manage communication with stakeholders of the project, a discussion forum, and a block app used for internal communication. I've designed the homepage of this site as a dashboard and I'm using both the left column and the right column. At a glance, team members can keep up to date on what's going on with the project. In the top left, I've created links to all the private applications used by this site. Below that, I've added an application feed widget which shows the project schedule. We can see that this project is set to kick off officially on November 3rd. Over on the top right, I've added a task list widget. This simple widget lets the project manager create tasks that are visible to the entire team. When a team member completes a task, they can cross it off. So this PowerPoint's now finished, so I'll mark it as complete. Below that, I'm using a what's new widget, but renamed it recent activity. The events calendar and Documents Library application both have advertising turned on, and anytime content is updated, the activity is shown here. In the settings for this site, I specified that advertising is limited to just this site, so I don't have to worry about project activity showing up on the company site. When team members want to update everybody on the project, they can use the internal blog application. Posts automatically show up here in the content area, so everyone is aware of the announcement. Below that, I have a widget that's pointing to the Stakeholder Updates application. This application is set up to control the flow of information to project stakeholders who don't have access to this site. When the project team needs to send announcements, it is first routed to the project manager for approval. Previously sent announcements are shown here, so everybody knows what has been sent. Finally, I have created a discussion forum for this project called Open Issues. As team members encounter uncertainty during the project, they can post it as an open issue. Other team members can then review and post their responses. This is better than doing it by email, as all decisions are recorded and easy to reference in the future. So that's my quick overview on how you can design a project site. I hope it's been useful and you'll give it a try.